Anybody did Gaga? Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Gaga, Gaga and choreographing are separate things. Gaga is the toolbox that can help mm -hmm. dancers and actually is helping me a lot. Uh, and Gaga is not about inventions. It's a lot about discoveries. It's a lot about what exists, what we don't know or we don't use or somebody else know and we learn from them. Uh, so the sense of discovery in Gaga is something that helped the dancers to go beyond their familiar limits on a daily basis. Um, even if it's a very small gesture, but over the time it's a lot that you can go beyond. Um, it, so one of the things that Gaga can help you is, um, or improve, is multi-layer tasks. Multi-layer Multi tasks in movement. It can, um, it can teach you to ignite parts in your body in different textures while in another part doing something else. It teaches a lot to listen to the body before you tell it what to do. Uh, it's a lot about yielding delicacy and teach the dancers how, uh, teach them about explosiveness, but even more about available to explode. It's like available to snap and sometimes we never snap, but the availability creates a lot of tension and a lot of um, being at the moment. Uh, and I think for a choreographer who is also have this in his toolbox, um, it frees him. It can show him possibilities uh, to go whenever his, whatever his fantasy, what turns him on. Mm -hmm. And also Gaga, I think, helped me a lot as a choreographer uh, to collaborate with my dancers mm. because so much of my process has to do with what I discover in the studio. Most of my ideas, most, some of them remain in the piece, but most of the ideas I come to the studio are just a jumping board and I don't want to know what's going to happen. And the bigger the gap is with what happened and what I wanted, the bigger the gap is, the better the process is. And Gaga helped me to communicate with the dancers and create that gap.